It was the night of New Year's Day. I came out here, sat for about 20 minutes, got my first trip, and uh, with that first trip, I had another trip immediately, and then another trip immediately, and so on and so on, until midnight when I cleared from a call, or I cleared from a trip. And then, uh, I think I had three or four trips since midnight, and now it's 5.49. So I was busy at the beginning, but now it's slowed right down. I've got uh, almost 300 on, but most of the money was, all of the money was made before, before midnight. Now I'm heading over to the car wash. I'm gonna vacuum it out, maybe wash it. We'll see how bad it looks. <sighs> oh, I'm sleepy. I just woke up again. I've been sleeping most of the morning, except for when I got a call. So I'll talk to you later during the week. Tuesday night was quiet to begin with and when I first got in the car I realized that I had to replace one of the headlights because the headlight was out and I had to put some more uh, bulbs in the uh, in the top light as well because two of those were out so I was changing bulbs and while I was changing the headlight some customer came up to me and said, I need a ride. And I said, well, can you wait till I just put this headlight on, please? So I took her home, and, and then uh, that was my second customer. And the rest of the night uh, was pretty slow until midnight, where it picked up a little bit again for a little while. I guess I got about 100, 220, 230 on, something like that. Right now I'm going down to the bank to deposit some money, and uh, that's it, that's the end of the night, no, no triumphant, uh, whoa, what happened here? Oh, the, the shit came out of the guy's bin, he's one of those, uh, one of those bin trucks, and uh, I guess he had a little spill. <laughs> this is garbage all over the street. Uh, it looked like scrap paper, scrap paper all over the street, like cardboard and stuff. Okay, well, uh, not much is going to happen anymore because I shut, I shut this thing off. It's not going to bother me again. Stop at the bank and fuel up and go home. The night has been going pretty good so far. This is the Wednesday night. It is uh, 12.47 a.m., so it's just uh, just after, almost an hour after midnight. And I was uh, fairly busy and doing okay, and I had some good fares. And now I had a customer who just walked away without paying. Just walked away. I wasn't going to chase him. But I got one of those vibes that he wasn't quite right. You can just feel it. And he's lecturing me on taking risks. had no intention of paying. He even said a couple times, I got no money. I thought that was in a broader sense that he's got no money. That he... So on and so on.
was the first one this year that didn't pay. Great. Just great. $22, you walked away. And as he was walking, as he was, he said, stop here. I'm going to get my big bag of cocaine and you're going to take me home. Whatever. That's bullshit. He walked behind a trailer. And he stood there for a minute because I could see his shadow. I think he was maybe taking a piss. I could see his shadow against the fence. There was a spotlight on him and I saw his shadow on the fence. And then he came out from behind this trailer. And instead of coming back to me, he went down the stairs that led away from the taxi. And what's behind, what's down below those stairs is maybe somebody's backyard and then there's a big field. And there's woods beyond that. So really I don't care where he went. I don't need customers like that. But sometimes you just gotta write them off and say, okay, I'll, the next one will be a better one. I'll let you know if the night gets in. I've been doing good tonight. Don't get me wrong. I've, I've got about 180 on, 190 on, something like that. And it's only, it's not, not even one o'clock. Son of a bitch. So I want to tell you about something that happened. Something that happened earlier. Let's pull you turn here. Okay. Now we're going in a better direction, I think. Oh well, if it's not the right if it's not the right direction, I'll find a way. It's a dark street, we'll put some high beams on there. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, I had had that guy who walked away without paying and about an hour and a half later or so I was sitting waiting for a call and I got a call out at the airport apparently there was a late late plane, a late flight so, and I guess the customer wanted to make sure that he'd have a have a taxi waiting for him at the airport so I drove out but there was no phone number there was no cell phone number and there was only a name and I was supposed to wait in the short-term parking which is where I waited the guy was supposed to be there around 241 the time of 241 and that's when people started coming out of the terminal at the airport at 241 anyways uh, Nobody came up to me claiming he was um, the guy I was looking for. And another guy came up to me and, uh, and uh, looked as if I was his car. And I asked him, well, what's the name? And he says, the name is Sean. And I said, well, I was sent for Joe. So Joe didn't, Joe didn't show up. And then I waited and waited and waited. And uh, then, after waiting a while, I mean, I ended up waiting half an hour after the call was due. And the whole plane, it was a big plane from Toronto that emptied out. And it was three hours late when it showed up. So anyway, I'm waiting, and there's just a pile of other cabs going past me. But you see, I can't go and wait at the um, at the uh, arrivals because I'm not part of the fleet that pays to be there, right? So, just when there was the people coming out of there were, was trickling down to nothing, I didn't see anybody in the terminal much anymore. This kid comes up to me and he looks like <coughs> he's um, he's a skinny kid uh, with sort of longish 
brown hair and it's it's curly brown sort of curly brown hair and he's uh wearing a mexican jacket and uh and he says well, can you take me and i said well well what's the name and it wasn't joe he says i'm shlomo i said well shlomo you got yourself a ride we're going and i ask him where are we going and he says and he tells me and okay so he ends up going into town and towards the other end of town the fare was sixty dollars sixty dollar fare and he tipped me another eleven bucks and we had a very pleasant conversation all the way down into town and to where he was going he was going to visit his grandparents uh, take some time off from school he said visit his grandparents and he's gonna go and do some volunteer work in Israel take a sabbatical well that's cool that's really cool so it was it was good that I met him and uh, that and and here this is even better as soon as I dropped him off this thing here beeped at me and gave me another call like a block away for another $15 fare so you know sometimes you just gotta write off the ones that don't work for you and then imagine that the ones that really do work for you are compensation for the ones that don't and that's what I think this uh, $70 airport ride was even though I had to wait a while I had to rush out there I had to wait a while for it but when the kid came up to me I said yeah sold we're going because the guy who I've had this happen to me before where the guy who called for the cab uh, ended up taking another one because that's what he saw he didn't see me because I was in the short-term parking rather than right at the arrivals anyways I waited half an hour beyond what the time call was going to be and uh, had uh, this kid not come up to me I would not have got away and it all worked out it's 4 a.m. now and uh, who knows what will happen between now and the end we got two hours left to go I got a few videos to watch I got a lot of videos to watch I finished watching the videos on one channel now I'm gonna catch up on another and I'm gonna be doing that all the rest of the week and on the weekend too anyway I'll talk to you sooner well, here we are just dropped off downtown it is 605 in the morning I'm gonna go uh, hose the car down hose the mats out clean things up a little bit and uh, fuel it pick up some prescriptions at the 24-hour pharmacy and what else do I need to do after fueling it and picking up oh yeah maybe deposit a little money in the bank if there's any left or well, maybe not maybe I'll just go to the pharmacy and then fuel the car and then go home yeah that's good enough so I got another, this doesn't seem to be like the first week of January. I just had a $300 night. <clears throat> One girl tipped me $29 on an $11 fare, gave me 40 bucks. Actually, she gave me a $50 bill and said, can I have $10 back, please? That was just fabulous. And uh, the rest of the night I had some good fares, good trips, $20, $30 trips. Watched a few videos, even took a couple naps. Can't complain at all about that one. So that was the Thursday night. We got one more night to go this week. And really, it has not been shabby for the first week of January. I think the uh, eight-year slump that we had after the 2008 recession is good and gone. Um, we've got prosperity happening. I mean, they're, they're building all over the place. Like, there's another great big building construction site here and uh, they got cranes all over the skyline downtown here and uh, yeah uh, on one side there's stress but on the other side there's money so what are you gonna do
Anyways. Well, this was a dead Friday. Uh, I worked until about 1, 1 o'clock and I had just under 200 on. And, uh, which wasn't really that terrible considering. It was mostly shorter trips. And then I had a call. Actually, uh, yeah, I dropped somebody off down in James Bay uh, just after 1. And then I made my way through downtown and there was just cabs sitting everywhere and I went past there and I went to the part of town where I usually go to. And this thing didn't apparently clock me through from one uh, zone to the other, but I thought I was okay and I was, I, I saw I was topping the zone, but I didn't read which zone it was. Uh, but it had me in the wrong zone and I wasn't booked. And so I started watching something on this phone here and I fell asleep watching it and I woke up about an hour later going how come I haven't had a trip yet then I looked and it said that I was idle I was not on the board so okay then I booked myself on and I got a trip right away and it was a no load it was my only no load of the night and I went back to where I had been sitting and I sat there for another hour and got nothing after that hour went by it was time for me to go out to the airport to pick up the guy who drives this car on the uh, Saturdays and Sundays and uh, you can see how dead it is now at 5 in the morning so I picked him up at the airport and brought him into town for $52 got 60 for it as soon as I dropped him off, I got another call. Immediately. It was some guy who's delivering papers downtown, so that's where I ended up. I dropped him off downtown, and now I'm heading back out to the place where I usually hang out. And I'm going to sit there for another hour. Maybe I'll add up my interacts. Um, yeah, I'll probably add up the interact slips and the credit cards and all that other crap get a jump on that so that when it's time to quit my shift I will be ready and I'll just shove the envelope in the glove box and that will be the end of that I gotta wash the car too I'll do a quick wash of the car quick wash basically vacuum it out grab all the mats just use the rinse and rinse all the crap off everything not going to use soap or anything. It just costs too much money. Oh, man. Anyways, hope yours is better than mine. I had a dreadful Friday, but the rest of the week was okay. The rest of the week was all right.